Hey, what's up, Shara? Am I saying your name right, Shara? Y'all, oh my God. Mm -hmm. It is exposing year. This is the year of exposing. Most definitely, everybody's uh, being exposed. <laughs> it's crazy. How you doing, Shara? Anybody, anyways, welcome to another live. Welcome back to another live, y'all. Sorry I didn't get a chance to post anything yesterday, but I was so tired. I mean, tired because, you know, I work so much. I work a lot. I, I got multiple streams of income. So I've just been doing my thing. And I was so tired yesterday. Hey, Barisha. Hey, Barisha. Hey, Kenya. Hey, Latoya. Hey, what's up, girl? So that's the reason why I didn't get a chance to post yesterday because I've been so, I, w I mean, I was so tired. I mean, I was beat up, but um, I had to come live today. How y'all doing? Welcome. Hey, boo. You in San Francisco? How you liking me? Hey, Amy. Welcome. Hey, Nikki. Hello. How you liking San Francisco? Rihanna. Hey, Rihanna. Welcome. Welcome to another live. Hey, Justin, you're glowing. Thank you. I feel like I got bags under my eyes, y'all. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sipping my tea. <laughs> you having a lot of fun? Good. Hey, Miss Humble, welcome. Hey, Maria, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, guys, don't forget to like the live as you come in. Well, thank you. Um... I was first. Yes, you was. Yes, you was. You was you was first and you was ready. Okay? Okay? <laughs> hey, Ramona. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just got my hair pent up because, baby, I be getting hot. Hey, Valerie. Welcome. Hey, Rosie. How are you? Wow. We're almost at 100 people in... Two minutes. Amazing. Can we get a hundred? Oh, we had a hundred likes in two and a half minutes. Let's go. Let's go, J Riders. J Riders always coming through. Let's go. <laughs> welcome, 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 everybody. A hundred people in two and a half minutes. Let's go. I'm loving it. Welcome. Can we please get a hundred likes? <laughs> Can we get a hundred likes, y'all? What done happened? Love your content. Thank you. I'm glad you guys are loving the videos. Thank you guys for all your warm welcomes and congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oakland, California in the house. Let's go. We got Oakland in the house. See, I told you we love your lives. I know. I know. I know y'all do. I missed the live by Matt. I missed the last live, but wasn't going to miss this one. Okay. Okay. Y'all, I seen some stuff on the internet today that blew me away. Blew me away. Hey, what's up, Tequila? Welcome. Hey, Louisa. Good evening, Justine, and everyone here in the chat. Hey, Tasha. Hi. How are y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, y'all. Can we get 100 likes, please? Anyways, um, y'all, I was in Eris B Live. Who was in Eris B Live today? I know I was. Raise your hands so I can see. Make sure y'all heard what I heard. <laughs> Did y'all hear what I heard? Okay. <laughs> love your necklace. Thank you. It's Tiffany. It's Tiffany. I love jewelry. One thing about me, y'all, I love the little blingy glitz and glam. Not blingy like shiny blingy, but blingy like designer. <laughs> Y'all, I love me some jewelry. I love me some diamonds. I love me some things, okay? This necklace I purchased when I was in my 20s. So this was a gift, a birthday gift to myself. So yes, honey, I love it. And I still wear, I don't wear it as often as I used to because baby, in my 20s, everybody was wearing Tiffany. Now you had the Tiffany necklace or somebody was wearing the Tiffany bracelet. Girl, we wore the shit down, okay? <laughs> so I don't wear it as much as I used to, but whenever I get a chance, like if I'm, Showing a lot of neck, then I want to wear it. Oh no, I missed it. You missed it. Watching while recovering from COVID. Angel, so sorry to hear you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. It's it's crazy how 
that disease is, or that, I shouldn't say disease, that virus is still out. That's crazy. Um, hey, Olivia, welcome. Anyway, guys, this is crazy. I was in Arabs Be Live today, and she had a guest come on the panel, and that guest spilled some tea. My mouth was like this the whole lot. <laughs> Y'all, y'all have to go to Eris B channel to check it out. But I'll go over a, 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 a couple things the lady has said. But I ain't gonna, I, I'm ready for y'all to see it. Because sometimes seeing is believing or hearing is believing. Just think it's almost took me out of, out of here. I'm so very thankful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. I mean, every day is precious, you know. And I'm so sorry to hear you were so sick. But I'm glad that you're better now and you're here and, and you're able to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We almost at 100 likes, y'all. We just need like 20 some more. <laughs> Anyways, let me um open up a window real quick, okay? Let me, hold on. I'm sipping tea. We got tea. I really should. I really should be cracking no windows, cause baby, I'm loud. Okay, I'm I'm a, I'm a very loud person. Okay, but thank you to Jay Riders. I got the real supporters. Don't play with it. The real supporters coming through. Let's go. Yes, give us a T. We miss Eris B live. Eris B was on point. How do you spell? Uh, Amy. Amy spelled it right. It's E R I Z B. Anyways, Eris B had a special guest today, and a special guest was talking about the, you know, the, the van lifer. Anyways, um, she was she was talking about like how this person was so many years ago and how she still is today. So I guess some people just never gonna fucking change, is that? Some people can't change. It's like you can't you can't teach old dogs new tricks. She's an old dog. So you basically, basically how she is is how she is, okay? She can sugarcoat. She can try to cover it up. She can try to play preacher. She's, she used God as a weapon. And she can try to act like she's such a good, goody, good tissue if she want to. But baby, this, this woman, what was her name? Strong... Oh my God, somebody got, somebody that was there, please, please help me. I can't remember her name. Her name was Strong something, I think. Her name didn't come up on a, on a, um, when they was doing stream yard, her name didn't come up, so I, I can't remember her name. But anyways, she was telling us all these stories about how this woman be trying to go after people's husbands. Ain't that crazy? Because it's kind of funny that I remember my ex- telling me in a voicemail that somebody had contacted him. I got the voicemail, so I just have to listen to it over again. I cannot play it because I'm on my phone. Too Strong, Too Strong. Okay, that's her name. Too Strong came on here, baby, and she was giving some tea. My mouth was like this. And in my mind, I was thinking, I said, I hate I have met this lady. I really do. Like, I don't fuck with evil people. Like, I'm not evil. Like, I'm a really good person. And I was taken advantage of, and so many other people was taken advantage of. It's crazy how we get, people use our kindness for weakness. And it's crazy how people lure people in with their um, disability and the way they look funny and the handicap. It's crazy how people use that to manipulate people. Okay, I fell for it too. And so many of y'all had to. Okay, even if you don't want to admit it now, we all fell for the okie doke. Okay, you know, we all fell for the okie doke. She does, like, she I already knew she do ridiculous things for attention, thinking it's going to give her a lot of clicks and views. And it doesn't, because <laughs> it's nonsense. And but probably when people see it, they probably just click off, like, what the hell? This is. This is not a van life. This is not the van life for I thought I had seen on tiny home tours. This is, 
this is like, well, I think what we see now is like the real her. She just put herself in the van because she thought van life was going to blow her up, which it did because out of, from what I see out of everything she's tried, mukbang, uh, eating and smacking and turning pages and, and talking about people and tea and this and that and mommy sector, I guess all those things didn't work for her. So the only thing that really worked was van life. And even though she's not really a van lifer, I have, I compare so many people. Hold on, hold on. I want to get my phone because a lot of times when I tell y'all about van lifers, y'all be wondering who I'm talking about. So let me, hold on, let me grab my other phone. So, anyways, um, I was misled like a lot of y'all was misled. We all just, hey, hey, we was misled. A lot of y'all was misled. I was misled. I'm, I'm going to be the first to admit it, okay? Let me be the first to admit it, okay? And we fell for the okie doke. And I didn't know, like, all these things that I'm learning now. I learned so much today. And if y'all want to know what happened, oh, thank y'all. We had 100 likes. Come on, 100 likes in 11 minutes. Don't play with it. Hey, y'all, can we get to uh, 200, okay? Because we got over 200 people in here, and we should be at 200 likes, okay? Thank you guys for all the thumbs up. I appreciate y'all so much. I got the best supporter on this side of YouTube. Hey, uh, Shorty Doo-Wop, welcome. So, anyways, I'm just so thankful and blessed for all y'all. Y'all, y'all. Y'all tried to warn me so many times, and y'all just don't understand where I had came from. I had came from a place that 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 I was being hated on and stuff. So I'm thinking I can understand or relate to this woman, but actually, we, me, and her is not the same. <laughs> like what she was doing on YouTube, I have never done. Never ever in the course or history of my YouTube career. Okay. I actually came on YouTube to be like a beauty channel. Okay? That, I mean, that's what I came on YouTube. I never involved in no mess, no 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 drama, no nut till now. I feel like this is just the most drama I ever been into in my life. And let me see what y'all saying. I used to watch her before you met you had met and watched her. She was living in the desert in the van. She never ate out. But buy new, didn't buy new clothes, something from Goodwill. Because her money changed. You know, money changed. You do things different. I remember when she was visiting you and stayed a few days with you, I felt something wasn't right about her. The looks she gave you didn't sit well with me. Listen, I had not, she has nothing I want to be envious of. And I could understand why she probably was looking at me a certain kind of way. And because, you know, I'm, I was living, you know, not really was living my life. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really living my life. But compared to her, it probably was, she felt like I was living my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this lady got uh, such a nice little apartment. And she got all these uh, luxury bags. And she's doing so well. You know, why would she consider van life? Why would she want to do this? And she probably was just got mad, you know. At the thing, probably was thinking like, damn, if she did van life, she probably would blow up because it would be so unexpected for her to live like that. <laughs> and people get mad, y'all. People get mad at a lot of crazy stuff. Some stuff you wouldn't even think about. Like, people get mad. Like, let's take Miss Gloria, for instance, you know, because she loved to talk about Miss Gloria. So, in my case, was she mad at Miss Gloria because Miss Gloria had a beautiful home? Like, was she mad at that? And I really don't know what else Miss Gloria have because I don't know. But I'm thinking she got a home. You wanted to stay in her driveway. So, obviously, maybe that was one of the reasons you was jealous. And maybe it could have been something else, too. Because, baby, we don't all know. We don't be knowing what people get mad at. People get mad at the craziest stuff. People, people, people get mad because you married to a man that buy you gifts. <laughs> people get mad because your hair longer than theirs. People get mad because you got a nice body and they can have a nice body if they wanted to work out or have surgery. 
but they look at you and they get mad. And they want to bring up stories like, oh, people get their bodies done for men attention. Oh, is that what you think of my beautiful body? <laughs> is that the reason why you think I got it done? But even though I got my body done when I was married, <laughs> I did it for myself. It had nothing to do with a man. This is something I wanted to do before I met anybody. <laughs> it's crazy. Don't play with it, okay? Don't play with it. <laughs> hey, Lorinda. <laughs> you are a trip. After meeting you, she was shopping at Ross all the time on Timu, trying to get designer lookalike. Yes. Yes, that is correct. Love the pink. Thank you. Hey, Lisa. Welcome. Haters gonna hate. Girl, I never knew I had a hater in my midst. I never knew the backstory of it all. You know what I'm saying? But today, girl, I learned so it is mind blowing what this lady had to say. Mind blowing. Like, <clears throat> I want y'all to go to Iris' uh, um, channel to um, look at it. But let me see if I can just bring up a little clip of it. Just give y'all a little teaser. <laughs> You're beautiful and humble. Oh, thank you. Don't we all have them, like, let them hate. Girl, you be having some people hate you because of the, you have people hate you at your own damn job because you're sitting at a desk and they're sitting in a room with a bunch of people. You can have people get jealous of your, your level in your career. You got, you got people jealous all the damn time. You know, I had people jealous when I was in school. Like, jealous of what? Like, we all students. We don't have shit. People be jealous because you're smarter than them or you can learn fat faster than they can. People be just jealous of some crazy stuff, how you come dress to school because they mom and them couldn't afford to dress them nice or any just thing, you know? <sighs> how does she claim broke and spending... Baby, because people feel sorry for her because she comes on here with a sad story, okay? Instead of coming on here and I guess saying, oh, I didn't know I hit a dog, I apologize. She couldn't do that. She had to, and then the crazy part is, so I'm looking at Eris B and what um, Deborah was um, putting up. And the crazy part is like, I be thinking like her, so them people over there, must be blind and deaf because how could they not see what we're seeing and hearing? Like, how, how can they not see that? Like, I don't understand. And that's so scary. You know, that's scary. You know, that's how, how they follow Jim Jones. And, and Jim Jones made all them damn people drink that damn Kool-Aid. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. It gets some people out here, instead of going to doing their own research and trying to figure it out to see what happened, they'll just go ahead and believe. Jim Jones told the people to drink that Kool-Aid, didn't they? Didn't he? I told you this is like a living Jim Jones. Don't play with it. Hey, Brown. Let me see what Amy said. Girl, first of all, she loved to eat. Did y'all see on Deborah Page? She had two big things of food. Oh, I couldn't even eat half. I only could be able to probably eat half of one plate. Yeah, that's the only probably thing I can just eat like. I cannot eat like that. Because first of all, I'm on a weight loss journey. I'm trying to uh do better for my health. Some people like to see their health decline because they want to play off of it, right? The way of scheming and scamming. That's part, that's part of scheming. Scheming is when you sit up there and try to plot, try to come up with a scam so you can go ahead and figure out what more ways of making people feel sorry for me. I, I wish I wish I would get on YouTube acting like that. Somebody better come over here and beat my butt. That's a disgrace. I, I can't. That's embarrassing. I cannot go to them kind of levels. Like, I cannot. 
I already feel like I, I already feel like I put a lot of my life out here in my business when it comes to relationship, and already that's a damn embarrassment itself. Shit. <laughs> They're like being in these relationships that don't work out, baby. That's embarrassing. <laughs> she really don't need to be on YouTube. I pray she get a life together and repent. God is not playing. Did y'all see what Deborah said? That her eye, did y'all see that she said something about her eye was closed and shut? I was like, oh, dear God. Help her. Help her. Help her. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like ugly. I know that lady makes a lot of money on YouTube with all those subscribers and eating their cheddars. Yes. And of course, that's the way of her making money. She used money from contributions and YouTube. So when the views are low, she got to dish out more videos to help make up for the loss that she had did in views. But the truth be told, she is hurting her damn self. We, I have not seen a change since I met her or only seen her get worse. She living in a damn, she living in a van that's about this big, but she only got this room, this much room. Like she, she's living in pure clutter. And when you live in a clutter, you have a clutter mind. And when you have a clutter mind, you're not thinking straight. Something is wrong with you. Okay? But again, but again, she uses this to, to help get people to feel sorry so they can send the donations. I get it. That's her hustle. I get it. But I feel sorry for people that falls for this because I did. I fell for this. Now, could you imagine if she used that kind of energy to maybe uh, uh, sell something to help her with her van versus scheming and scamming? What, won't you go in there and, and, and sell some T-shirts like your raggedy looking van life stuff? <laughs> well, you, you know that van lifer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, can, we cannot say that. These, this, this, we cannot say that. Hold on. Let me see what y'all talking about. <laughs> right. So embarrassing. Like, go get you a job or something. Exactly. Can we see a hustle? Besides, <laughs> like, come on now. That's the only hustle you have is crying? Begging? What the lady said today, the lady said today, she gets on YouTube and always talk about she, she needs something to eat so people can feel sorry for her and go and, and eat. Maybe that's why she probably used to go into dumpsters and stuff maybe that's the reason why so they feel sorry for her could you just wonder like i just wonder like oh, i remember when this other um van lifer her name i think was her name tiffany 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 used to sell something like that's a hustle like you got to be able to sell something to like uh help you out tiffany not once came on here begging no she sold things for her supporters to buy to help her. What happened to her tiny home in Arizona? How am I supposed to know? Now tell me how I'm supposed to know that. <laughs> I don't live in a in a in a uh what you call that? <laughs> I want to say shared city. Lord Jesus, not shared city. What do you call the people that live in um trailer park? Is that considered trailer park? Baby, I don't live. Like, I don't. I wouldn't know. I, I I'm in a whole different area. I'm more upscale, baby. <laughs> this is more upscale, like <laughs> mobile homes. <laughs> ain't no damn mobile homes. Is it mobile homes? We got it's where RV RV. That's what it is. Probably like an RV park. Like, I don't... Y'all remember when I used to live in an RV? <laughs> Not by choice. Hey, Eris B, she ain't here. Let's see what Eris B say. Oh, she said, hey, Eris, hey, Eris B, girl. I'm telling them to come over there and watch your video. Because that lady that's too strong... She was telling, girl, when that too strong came on your video and she was talking about this lady and all this crap that she used to do, my mouth dropped. Like, I was, it, I was like, I was watching it like this, like, oh, I was like, I can't, 
Oh, I hate that I ever met this. This is not the type of people I, I deal with. I did not. Absolutely. We seen on Tiny Home Tours. Y'all seen that? I was misled. I feel like that was a, a, a you know how they, I feel like that's a commercial. <laughs> like you're watching a commercial that misleads you and take advantage of you and fraud you. I feel like that was a commercial I watch that fraud people. <laughs> like, do y'all know what y'all doing? This is crazy. What happened to the camper she faced up? Baby, we all wonder that. I don't know. The only thing I know is she can't be there because somebody looking to serve her papers. So when Deborah, when I seen Deborah video, they talking about, or Aaris B was talking about, uh, she talking about taking people to court. Well, actually, people want to take you to court. So it would be nice if you if you want to take people to court so these people could come uh, uh, forward so they could take you to court. <laughs> this is like some drama. I swear, I feel like I'm living in a damn dream. Basically a nightmare. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a damn nightmare. This cannot be real. I told myself that last year when somebody was trying to, you know what? When she was trying to dox and stuff, try to put somebody, tell them, come get some monkey. I still can't get over that. <laughs> what is it? Mobile homes. RV Park. Yeah, RV Park. Have you ever seen the movie The Grifters? It's an old movie. She acts like those people in the movie. Hell no, I ain't seen that movie. Angel Eye. Shoot, now I want to see what the movie is about. Grifters. Yeah, y'all, this is just sad. This is really sad and pathetic. This is really beyond like a human, like real, like I, I can't even, I seen some people on YouTube text me and tell them I'm live. Uh, hey y'all, we got over 400 people in here. Can we get 300 likes, please? Please and thank you. Um... This is, I, I, I see a lot of true crime movies. A lot of people got some crazy, like, I don't know what plays in some people's minds, right? I don't know what goes on in their heads to do the things they do. And her, I, 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 I sit up there and say, is this, is she real? Is, is she? <sighs> I would love somebody to say she just putting on, please. Because if you're just putting on, did I, that's us understandable to, to understand what you're but if you're not putting on and this is really how you think and, and you think it's okay girl you that's really mental illness you need to sit down with a psychiatrist you need help people that, that literally lies she lied about the dog and then, then the people that she she talked to on her um on her thing, they gotta be deaf and blind too. Like, how she can't, how they don't see what we see. See, if I can get my cousin on the chat who she did like shit, Sin City. Oh, Sin City, that's your cousin. That's the one, that's the one that Too Strong was talking about. I, I know who Sin City is because I seen her on Beloved thing. I know who Sin City is. <sighs> yes, Tiny Homes, the damage they putting on her channel. I mean, it's they're not they're not doing any damage, but they're bringing innocent people that's being misled. You understand what I'm saying? Like they they really don't know what's going on, and it, it, it's sad because when people was trying to tell them, I don't even know if they research it. But baby, they not gonna take down no videos that they getting millions of views on. Why would they? They're, this is a money thing, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they need to understand that it's causing these people to come over, and most of them probably elderly and older. And, and, and they being taken advantage of. How can y'all, how can somebody do that to people? I don't understand. 
Yes, thumbs up the live, y'all. We need to be at 300 likes. Just saying, you have to watch it. You will get a better understanding how the woman is moving. Yeah, okay, I will watch it. The grifters, I will watch it, Angel Eyes. Thank you. Did she fall out, out with the girl she had been staying with and was fixing up the bedroom? Um, far as I know, I don't think so. Because if she did, girl, somebody would have been saying something about it. <laughs> what happened to the tiny home and... And Eric, girl, we still trying to figure that out. We don't know. The only thing is I can guess, and I'm just guessing, like, like Eric's being there say, allegedly, allegedly, somebody was trying to serve her papers. When that happened, baby, she ain't been there. She hasn't been there ever since they was trying to serve her papers. Facts. Y'all know that's facts. She should, to, to, to tell you the truth, if she needs some money, if her view's going down, sell the camper. Sell the camper. Sell the camper and or or get the camper, get get Charlene or, or any one of them to get a pickup for you. You can rent a pickup and drag the camper up there on their homestead. Why you don't do that? So you can make homestead videos and off the camper and then nobody know where you at so they, they can serve you the papers. <laughs> I can't be giving this crazy woman no ideals. I can't get that. I, I got to look out for Miss Captain. I got to look out for Miss Captain. No, I'll keep your camper there. They need to know where you at. <laughs> oh, ooh. She also is dumping all her frustration on you, Justin, Deborah Arias, when it's a lot of direction towards uh, Circus Peanut, but she won't say anything directly to her. You know what? Circus puts out really good videos, okay? And, of course, we over there comment and we support. And you know what? That's how I seen about the dog. That is the first video I seen about the dog. And I was... I was devastated. Like, all, out of all the crazy stuff you could have done, why would you do that? And if if it was accident, dent, if it was accidental, why you don't admit it? It was an accident. But she's on here denying it, full-blown denial. And she got people believing her. That is crazy. That is crazy. Y'all got to go check out Eris B. She went live today, and she had this lady on there, a guest called Too Strong. So y'all definitely got to check her out when um we get off live. She doesn't have the place, I don't think, because why her and Charlene go pick up stuff to keep Miss... I don't know. Circus videos is funny. Yes, they are. Circus be on point with the facts of her own sister. Her own sister is crazy. Because the lady too strong was on there talking about how how she worked with people husbands, and then her sister said the same thing. Now I was just wondering, like, what man that has a wife would want to even mess with her? The way she looks, she looked like a hot mess, and I feel like any man that deal with her is desperate. Like you is desperate. I don't care. I don't care if you she throwing it at you. Why would you want it? <laughs> I don't know. Any men's in the chat? Men's no. Men's no. Men, any men's in the chat? Is, is she something like? I mean, is that? I mean, what is appealing about her? I just want to know. I'm just curious. She too greedy. She got multiple storage units stuff shot. She's a hoarder. Yes, she's a hoarder. I believe that. And watching y'all videos and stuff, how she had a little cot in the shed with all that stuff, I was thinking to myself, oh my God. She has accumulated a lot to be living in the van. And here go little Miss O, nomadic introvert. She living out of a, a book bag. <laughs> She living as a pure minimalist. Like she know these things are going to be useless. It's going to be in a way. But you know, when people don't like stuff like that, that's the reason why they live like a, a minimalist because um, they don't like clutter. 
But then people that's hoarders, they don't see the clutter. They don't mind the clutter. I know, I used to watch hoarders all the time. Circus is a ride. Yes, he is. Hey, sis. I mean, hey, Luan, baby girl. What y'all doing? She said, you show your true colors and glad she left because God told her to walk away. Oh, did she? So, if... <laughs> Let's talk about it, okay? Hey, I need y'all to like this live, okay? Okay, now let me tell you this. If I had showed my true colors when you first left my home, I'm talking to you, Miss Van Lifer. Uh, if I showed my true colors when you first left my home, why did you communicate with me during the whole time you was in Texas and making arrangements to come back? Why would you do all this goodwill buying shit for me to do a try on haul? Why would you do all this if I showed my true colors? Because I text you my address, and the next morning, you said, oh, uh, I dropped the clothes off at your door, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to go and work on myself. I've been crying all night, and, and, and I just need to go work on myself and get my stuff together. I said, oh, okay. Uh, did you want to wash anything? Did you want to? Oh, no, I just got to go. So if I showed my damn true colors, and I didn't even see you. If I, sh did, if I show my true colors, when did I show them? When did I show them? Because you dropped the shit off at the door. I didn't see you. So when did I show them? And if I show them before you left, why would you make arrangements to come back? You got that fucking address and you did your doxing research. You took advantage. You threw my address out there on the YouTube streets thinking it was going to do something. Nothing. <laughs> it did nothing. Thank God. That, that shows you God got protection on me. So when did I show you my true colors? Because if you see my true colors, why the fuck did you keep in contact with me? Why did you keep on wanting to be friends and conversate and we working on you coming back and visit? If I showed you my true colors, let's talk about it. You called me that night and was like, um, I'm at IHOP and I'm getting something to eat. Did you want anything? And I was like, no, nah, I'm okay. Because in my mind, you already told me you weren't going to do see me tonight because you was tired. So I said, no, I don't want anything. I'm cool because I'm already in a bed. She said, okay, I'm just going to grab something to eat and then I'll be all right on over. Okay. The next call I get, oh, I dropped the, the clothes off at the door and and um, I just got to go. You know, I got so mad with the crying all night and I just need to go and just... <laughs> so when did the true colors come in? Because I didn't sit with you at IHOP. We, we already had a discussion. You said, oh, I'm not going to come up tonight. I'm tired. We already talked about it. That's why I was surprised that you asked me that I want anything. One thing about me, between the difference between me and you, baby, I ain't got to lie. I ain't got to lie. You got to lie. You got to lie because you want other people to, to look bad so people can feel sorry for you. You will never make me feel bad or look bad. I don't care what you say about me. Because look at you and look at me. I would never, I mean, say what I want to say. You can talk about my body and all my cute little bags I got and all that. You can go ahead, girl, talk about it. Who cares? Because everybody see you. you're mad, you're bitter, it's jealousy. When you talk about stuff like that, you make yourself look stupid. But what did she say? What would she say on that one live? If anything had come between me and Justine, if anything happens between our friendship, we would let you know. She was the first one drove away talking about me. Everybody running into my life. Everybody running by. Justine, she talking about you. She talking about you and your husband. 
She talking about your stuff you have. She called you a hoe. Everybody was telling me this. So, 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 who has a problem with who? So y'all, some of y'all knew y'all don't know. But the ones that know, know. Who, who had a problem with who? And I'm sitting on my live and I'm listening, I'm looking at the comments. And I'm like, what? She, she talking about me? I thought she had to go to courtside to get her shit together. Then I remember I text her. I text her to check on her. Out of all the times I text her, out of all the times I had text her, this one particular text, me checking up on her, she didn't see. I, I, and I was like, and, and, and I was thinking like, so all the times I ever text her, all of a sudden now this one text, she's going over this. Man, this woman is such a liar, scammer. She, she tried to, she, and another thing too, she loved drama. I could see it. She loved drama and, and it get her the views. And she loved the clicks and views because she's on repeat. Like Eris B said, damn, we already heard you say it. Why you keep on talking about it? She's on repeat. You know how you hear a broken record and it keeps skipping? Yeah, my mom and my mom and them, we had a record player. Okay, we get that little crack in the record. She got a crack in her. So we get that little crack in that record and go. She's on fucking repeat. So I ain't got to come back here and say what I had to say the other time and the other time and the other time. I'm sitting up here going off what people I'm seeing today. And today I couldn't believe what I was seeing. This lady talked some stuff I wish I heard before I met her. But it's okay. We're here to warn people. And I hope I, I just, oh, poor Charlene. Poor Charlene. Charlene, Pauline, Justine. <laughs> poor. All the things. <laughs> Poor people, y'all. I feel sorry for this. Like, I, I don't even feel sorry for her. I cannot feel sorry for a woman that put my damn address on the internet and try to dox me. Try to get people to come to my house to do something to me because she jealous because I look good. Who says that? Who does? And I'm supposed to be mad and jealous of that? Hell no. Nah. I don't have nothing to do with nobody that try to put my health, my, my everything, my life in jeopardy, girl, kick fucking rocks. I don't give a F about you. Do you understand that? Like, I don't care nothing about you. I wish I never met you. So even though I, I, I have gained, uh, 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 and glad I met a lot of y'all because of her nonsense, and I'm thankful for the relationships that I have met. That's the only damn thing that I can see good that came out of meeting her. Do you understand? Because baby, while they while they sitting up there talking, she talking about hours about a lady. She she was at her house. Baby, I met her personally. I invited her to my home, my son house. I cried with her prayed with her and she was nothing but this evil evil wolf in sheep clothing wolf in sheep clothing i did nothing to her nothing to my she seen through me you ain't seen nothing but beauty kindness you even said it on your videos. Oh, Justine opened her house to me. She's so nice and kind. Yes, I was. I was. Got videos, taking you to get something to eat, paying for your food. I was kind. I let you wash your dirty dishes, wash your dirty clothes. Did you? I got. I, I pay a water bill. Yeah, I pay a water bill. This shit wasn't for free. I was looking out for you. You like, you like a dog. You know how you feed the dog and the dog bites your hand? You're not supposed to bite the hand that feeds you. But you done, bought, you done, you done bit multiple hands. 
multiple hands. People that sitting up there helping you build that crazy looking ass van. Do you know that's a molester van, predator van? Like those the, those them kind of vans that people drive drive up to try to snatch people. That shit is scary. <laughs> Anyways, people send money to help you with your damn van. And then the minute they say something that you don't like and all they're doing is asking you a question or because they don't agree with something, you're blocking them. And, you know, I don't care how much money you sent me. I don't care how many gifts you get me. You're blocked. You're blocked. You're blocked. <laughs> I have never in my life seen something so crazy. I have to like, <laughs> I have to think, like, ask myself, is this real? Or am I living in the matrix? Because this can't be real. I done seen some crazy stuff. But to actually be some way part of something weird like this? I would never have guessed this in a, in a million years for me. Never. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry I miss y'all comments. But you know I get on a rant, rant rage. I be going. Please like the live, y'all. We so close to 300 likes. So close. Thank you. And I forgot to tell. Who was that sent me? Melissa, thank you for the super sticker. Facts, Justine. I agree with you. She is jealous of you. 100%. Very. Now, she always talking about people jealous of her, but I can say she jealous of me. She's really jealous. <laughs> Why, why would you be jealous of somebody trying to help you? Why would you be mad? Like, I, I hate fake-ass friends. I hate liars. I can't stand them. Fake-ass friends. You, you, welcome, you, you welcome a person in your circle, in your personal space, and they looking at you all sideways because they jealous. Because you know how to put on your damn makeup and because you know how to comb your hair and because you know how to dress nice and sophisticated and then they get all fucking mad and looking at you. Mm, why you dress like that? <laughs> why girl, why, why you put on makeup? That, that, that's crazy. I, I, I can't stand people like that. You know, let me tell you that I, had, I, had, I knew this lady. And I remember when I had got my engagement ring at the time. And I'm so proud. My, my engagement ring so beautiful. And I'm looking at it. I said, oh, it's so beautiful. This is this, this what she said. Um, I wouldn't have got it that big. What? <laughs> Girl, you said you wouldn't have got it this big? Well, shit, I was trying to get bigger. <laughs> When that, when that man sat in front of me and he was like, okay, what are you looking for? I said, I'm looking for five carrots. <laughs> I was trying to get bigger. What is she? she said, I wouldn't get that big. Girl, some people just be so mad and jealous for no damn reason. But if that was me because of my heart and how I feel, I'd be like, girl, that ring is beautiful. That is nice. You well done, girl. High five. That is beautiful, girl. You got good taste. You did that? You custom? You picked out that diamond? Girl, you got good taste, girl. High five. Uh, whenever I get married or engaged, girl, I want you with me. I want you with me to help me pick my diamond. See, that's the type of person I would have been. But a hater? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That, that. Some people just don't. I don't know. It's just in them. Okay, some people is just in them. They got a, they got a hate. You know, there's a hateful heart. People just, they're in their spirit. It's just the way they are. They can't be nice. Do you hear? Did you hear how the sister said she was talking to her daddy? Now you owe child support. No, you owe. I owe you nothing. I owe you nothing. But she told me that when she got her van, that. Her dad was dead, and her her daddy twin sister is on Tiny Home Tours. The first video, I, I, I'm not making this up because again, baby, I'm not a liar. It's on the Tiny Home Tours first video. She said, um, "My auntie, which is my dad twin sister, gave me the money to buy the van." But that ain't what the sister said. 
That is not what the sister said. The sister said, our dad gave her the money to buy the van. And I was like, yeah, Circus Recap need to do it. Circus Recap need to do a video on that one. <laughs> Get the clip from that one. My the, the, the sister said, my dad helped her to buy the van. And when she, the dad asked her for the money or something or whatever, she said, no, you owe the child support and all this. And I was like, oh, my God, this woman lied. Like, why would you lie to me about who bought you the van? I don't give a F. That. But see, it was already told on the circ on the, not to say circ it was already told on the uh, tiny home tours. So she had to stick with that story. Go back, tiny home tours. A hey, circus. Hey, hey, boo. Can you go back to that video and do something? We need, we need to <laughs> make that clip and what the sister said. We need that shit side by side. <laughs> we need to pull the lies out of her. You know, you gotta, we got to pull them out. <laughs> we got to show people like, did, shit, y'all didn't catch that? Y'all didn't catch that. <laughs> Please, y'all. Yes, because you are a good person. So many people have black hearts. It is so sad. Yes, Amy. Facts. First, she said the mother gave her $1,300 for the The mama? Oh, my God. So many, she, she, when, when a liar lies, they, they can't keep up with the lies. They, they forget what they say. And the crazy part is you're on YouTube, which is recorded. And I guess a lot of videos that she had in the past, uh, according to Too Strong, she private. But some people already had like recorded and react to some of her videos already. So that's the ones that people can pull up and research. That's crazy. Circus says, gotcha. <laughs> yes, Circus. We, I want to see it, boo. I want to see it. Right. That video was the icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. She still has the trailer. She will be going back to it at the end of the year. All right. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I thought Circus, cir I thought Circles, Circus was a sister. No. Circus recap. I saw the video of her awesome job. Circus do very short videos, but straight to the point. You you get the point. Okay. I love the video. I I can I love the commentary. Okay, straight to the point. But today, y'all, when we finish this live, y'all need to go check out Eris B video that live that she put today. That woman said so much stuff. I was I really my mouth was open. I was so shocked. So, so some people was in the chat saying she has something to say about you. She said she was gonna tell. I can't wait to hear these lies. I can't. I can't wait to hear these lies. So I can laugh. I need a good laugh. Sometimes you know you want a good laugh, but sometimes when you when it comes from a dark person like that, somebody with a dark heart and evil spirit, you feel kind of like, almost like. What the hell is they about to say? Because this person is so dark and evil, they finna come up with some crazy, conjure something crazy. And I don't know how they mind things because I'm not that type of person. Only a person that kind of relate to that person can, can, can understand that, that kind of mind. Baby, my mind can't understand them. I can't understand that. Okay? From all the videos, from cussing people out because they said something about you. Like Eris B, no, not Eris B, Deborah said, they make a lot of videos about P. Diddy. And he's a, P. Diddy is money and power. And he can't get, the, he can't get YouTube to take down nothing. What the hell? This commentary is free. It's, it's our amendment to have freedom of speech. And, 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 we're, and they're just saying something about what you already put out here. Like, I cannot lie about what you said, who bought you that damn van. It's already out here. You said it was your auntie, your dad's twin sister. Your sister said it was your dad. Which one was it? I'm, I'm, I'm going with the sister. 
I'm going with the sister. I believe what the sister said. At this point, you can't believe nothing she said. Oh, I'm learning so much. I used to feel so sorry for her, but I know that she's really... <laughs> Come on, y'all. The minute y'all get the voice and all y'all opinion and saying something, you're blocked. If you don't agree with her, you're blocked. I have never in my mind done nothing like that. I always tell people, you have your right to say whatever you want to say. I don't care. <laughs> it's your, just don't be on here disrespecting me, cussing me out, okay? Because we ain't going to tolerate that. But you have a right to say what you want to say. If something I did you don't like, oh, well. <laughs> I can't get mad at that. Right, the life, people going to talk anyways. Yeah, let me tell you something. People going to talk when you're on top. And people going to talk when you're on the bottom. I'd rather for them to talk about me when I got something versus that I ain't got nothing. You going to talk? Go ahead and talk. Like, what can you say? You don't know what my dreams and goals and aspirations and you don't know what I'm trying to achieve in my life. Living the way I live, having those bags. I, you, you don't know if I, I work, what I did to work hard to get. You don't know nothing about me. Don't try to make it seem like what getting my body done was a bad thing. Baby, I've been wanting my body done since I, my damn 30s. I'm glad it finally happened. And no matter what you say, you're not going to go make me feel bad. And why? I feel good. I got confidence. You ain't going to be at it. You ain't going to knock down my dreams. You ain't finna try to make it seem like what I wanted and then pray for and work hard for is a bad thing. Girl, what, what you got? What, what's your goals? How you gonna get mad at me and talk about me, the car I drive? What, what somebody says? <laughs> she got mad talking about the car I drive. Man, I'm driving my dream car. When you write down your goals, you aim high. And you write down the things that you want to achieve and have. You ever thought, you ever heard of wish list? Have you ever heard of vision board? Baby, I'm knocking my damn goals out the park. By you talking about the things that I always wanted, you gonna make me feel bad? Hell no. Nah. But you make yourself look stupid. You make yourself look so jealous and bitter. That's the only thing you're making yourself look like. And if anybody agree with that, something is literally wrong with them. If they agree with you praying on people death, something is wrong with the people that listen to that. I write down the, the countries I want to visit. I write down the jewelry I want to have one day. I write down every damn thing I want. And when I get it, check. You're not going to knock down my dreams and goals and things that I've always wanted because it don't suit you. Because it's not your goal. Everybody that's watching right now, everybody wants something different. And because you, your wants and my wants is different, don't mean I'm mad at you and you can't be mad at me. Everybody wants something different. You are mentally insane. For some of the things you say out your mouth, when they react... Sometimes I'll be glad, like, I'm glad y'all said, I'm so glad you, because sometimes I'll be thinking it when I'm seeing it, and then Eris B would say something, I'm like, girl, I'm glad you said that, because, girl, I was just thinking that. Sometimes she just sounds like a, like a dodo bird, like, you just, just sounds like a, somebody silly and an idiot, like, and I don't understand how people will agree with that, like, I don't get it. Justine, she hating on you, point blank. She's a snake. You can have whatever you want, man choose, and she can't. Exactly. Like, I know when I, when I meet my special guy, he's going to have some money because I wouldn't talk to nobody. I ain't got no money. 
And if you want to talk to somebody that ain't got no money, that's a your business. <laughs> like, why would I be mad? Because that's what you want. You can't be mad because what I want. Like, we all have different wants, okay? <laughs> I want somebody, I'm looking for a provider that can spoil me, for or spoil me with all the things that I love and like, okay? <laughs> hey. What is that? But you talk about three o'clock in the morning. But you're talking about at three o'clock in the morning. Meg, what you talking about? I think she's jealous of her siblings, probably, because her one sister is very pretty. Here we go, here we go again. Now you're telling me that she is not. <laughs> Meg, come on now. I don't. We already know that's not a friend. I don't even know if she know how to be a friend, the truth be told. Because I, I really truly believe. And this is, this is how I believe. Can't nobody take away how I believe, okay? This is what I believe. And y'all might think I'm right or y'all might think I'm wrong. But I really believe that she's around Charlene because of money and things she can get out of her. And that's the God honest truth how I feel. I believe she's friends with her to use her because she got a homestead. And in her mind, she's probably thinking that, oh, I can bring my van and stay on the home. Now, I don't, now some of y'all might disagree, and that's fine. But I really believe that is the reason why she's friends with that woman. Because now, when you think about it, everybody that she's friends with, she's used in some type of way, shape, or form. And in my mind, how I'm thinking and how I'm hearing about this woman and how she is, baby, she's using that woman to the fullest. And that's, the, that's just how I feel. And can't nobody take that away. That's just how I feel. And now, if she's doing that or not, I don't know. But I'm just saying, I'm just giving my opinion. Again, this is my opinion. I don't know the facts. Yeah, her sister is pretty facts, Justine, about Charlene. Meg, what did you think about her? <laughs> really? Her sister's pretty as well. She definitely displayed jealousy towards her sister. Her sister's very pretty. Well put together. She does her makeup. She looks good. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have a life that you dream of. Others should set goals. <laughs> Thank you. Set goals. Have something in your life that you're aiming for. Okay, we, why work so hard and we work hard for nothing? You know, once upon a time, I worked hard to fix my credit so I could buy a house and then I bought a house. Like I had goals and dreams all throughout my life. I went to college and said, hey, I'm going to get straight A's. And I did it. Like that was a goal. And, and, and really, I was going to school to kind of show my kids, like if I could do it, you could do it. <laughs> But my kids will tell you, like, yeah, she went to college and she got straight A. Like, everybody got different goals, like dreams, things they want to achieve. What is hers? Like, oh, I forgot she won a van. Now, if you want a van, what are you doing to work towards getting one besides scamming people? I won $100 bet tonight. Thank you. Oh, well, congratulations, just Jeff. Okay. Coins. I want a relationship I can build with the person. True. Facts the way she's friends with her. I agree, Justine. Okay, Melissa. I feel the same way. She needs people that are stable and not to order to not have to pay any bills. And even 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 with Miss Charlene, like some of the things that I saw her do in Miss Charlene's house and stuff was looking like kind of controlling and trying to barge like like kind of take ownership and trying to like tell this woman what to do. In my mind I was like you just really met this lady in person. I really don't know how long you conversate. And then why would you call her trout mouth tricks the same thing you call the haters? Your so-called haters or people hating on you. You call her the same thing? I, I, I really don't understand it. I really don't understand it. Like, I don't, I don't get it. And then I guess like one time in the video, like she was in the kitchen or something. And I guess 
the lady must have came in and she looked, I'm, I'm recording, like she, she acted like the lady was bothering her. This, this lady house, how she walks in is bothering you. I don't, I, sometimes I, I, I've seen a whole lot from Eris B and M channel and I never said nothing. I, I never said nothing. I sit back and I just be shocked by a lot of stuff I see. And I cannot believe that I had met somebody like that. I, I can't. I remember when I first met her, we went out to a, a buffet. Y'all know this is on the channel. Uh, when I first met her, we went out to the buffet and uh, she was kind of telling me she's a little skeptical on meeting people because they turned on her, which I've never turned on her. She turned on me. Let's make that clear. She turned on me. So I was like, okay, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not used to meeting people. So I wouldn't understand, but I'm trying to listen to her what she said. She was like, yeah, I helped somebody get to a million subscribers. Can y'all please tell me who was the person that she helped get to a million subscribers? Because she told me she helped somebody get to a million subscribers. And i like to know where they're at. Who is that person? Or is that a lie? Who is the person that she helped to get to a million subscribers? That's what she told me. Can someone catch me up with this person talking about the channel's interesting? Hey, Chad, you must be new. Welcome. Um, it's hard to catch up, get you caught up with this because this is just so deep and it's just so much. But anyways, I have met a so-called van lifer, which she really don't do van life. But all she do is sit in her van and talk negative all day, every day. All she do is eat and go shopping. She does nothing what other van lifers do. Nothing. Like, I don't see anything. She used to seem interesting when at first when she would go outside, she will cook and set up her little that tent outside and stuff like that when she was out in the, in the uh, Nevada and stuff. But she don't even do nothing. She don't do none of that no more. None of that. She just turned to a very negative person. Oh my God, you had to move because she put your address. Yes, Amy. I had to move. She was one reason I had to move and plus my ex. <laughs> Girl, I swear. And, and, and the crazy part is he told me, he didn't say a name, but this is what he said. He said, your op is trying to talk to me. Or, yeah, your op is trying to talk to me. In my mind, I don't have no ops but this one lady who made this fairy tale drama between us so she can get views. That's the only person I know. And how the hell did she get your phone number? But because I'm not with you no, no more, I don't give an F. <laughs> I just like, whatever. I don't care. She got with Charlene to bump. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. She lied. She was trying to imp imply that be love. Now, let me tell you something. I've been watching be love since I was living in Wisconsin because I was re very intrigued that I seen this woman from the state I'm, I'm from and had these many subscribers. At the time when I started watching be love, I would say she had like a hundred something thousand subscribers. I have not once ever seen this lady on her channel. Never. So I like to know how could she have possibly helped be love grow to a million when she can't even help herself grow to a million. Oh my God, Lord Jesus. Hey, hey, y'all, if y'all new to the channel, could y'all please consider subscribing? And also, can you please thumbs up the live? We got over 300 thumbs up, but we got over 500 people. So could we please get some thumbs up? Thumbs up for your girl. I've been through a whole lot. This woman put my address, she docks me. This woman crazy. <laughs> thumbs up the live, y'all. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, 60K is on the way. 60K is on the way. And if you want to see more about me and you want to see if you like the vibes or whatever, watch some of my videos, okay? 
Be, yeah, be loved ain't thinking about her. I, I don't ever see be loved addressing anything this lady do. Anything. She's like, she's like a peon to uh, be loved. <laughs> she's like a little peon to be loved. Okay. <laughs> She got into a beloved in her mind. And she was jealous of beloved because beloved prospers so fast and quickly. But everybody got their niche. Everybody got their thing. And she can't think she's able to impl implement. She's, she thinks she could be able to implement what everybody else does. But she can't. Because she got that look. If she wasn't so evil and, and, and grudge it, hearted and all this crazy stuff, and she made a change for real, for real, instead of for fake, maybe something else can come about. <laughs> but yeah, straight delusional. Straight delusional. I, I, I've never seen anything like this. But anyways, um, <clears throat> so true. Hey, making changes. You had to see those videos with her and Killer Killer. He talked about her so bad. 60K next. Yes. I'm on a lay so Mr. Girl, make a change. You got to go watch Eris B video today. Girl, somebody came on her panel and was spilling all the tea about your girl. Okay. <laughs> I was shocked. I, I don't know this woman. I really don't know this woman. I can't even tell you nothing about her. I'm learning as a lot of y'all learning. Just because I met her don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to know that. I, my mind is just still in shock too. So if she come on this channel, want to talk and talk about she's seen something, I like to know what she's seen. Because you ain't, out of your own mouth, out of your own mouth, you spoke of nothing but kind things about me. But your heart, because it's so dirty, you drove away, you was conjuring up all these things inside of you because the evilness eventually is gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we can some people can just mask some things, but some things you just can't hold back. Like Eris B said, this is how she always been. She always said, Yeah, this is this this is real tasty. This is this is real tasty. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I was with the fake, the fake tasty. This is the real tasty. <laughs> I watched Eris be live from today three times because truth was told. Okay. Miss Catherine here. Hey, Slim. Right, Miss Callie. She deleted them, but Killer still got his up. He called her a crock pot lady. I got to watch this. I, I never knew. Um, Justin, I was at Costco and I heard McNasty talking about five of us. You, uh, Deborah, Eris B, Circus, and me. Oh, she skipped one. Miss Gloria. <laughs> she skipped one. <laughs> and then who comes on the live and pray for somebody dismised? Am I saying that right? Dismised? Who, who, who comes on live and prays for that? I've never, ever seen none. This has got to be the craziest. This is, y'all, I'm really blown away. This is like unbelievable to me. Unbelievable. Killer Killer was the one called her trout mouth trick. That's what she, that woman steals everybody lingo. Like Deborah said, she's a copycat. She could never come up with her own things. She steal everybody lingo. Trust me, tonight, what I'm saying, things that I've said, why she'll talk about it in her life, and y'all wondering where she, oh, didn't Justine use that word? Didn't Justine say that? <laughs> Listen to Deborah. Watch her live and watch she say something Deborah says. Watch she say something Eris B say. Like this woman, this woman don't have, she just don't have what it takes. She's a copycat. She got to look at people eating and think she can do it. She got to do ASMR, turning pages. Chewing gum. Like, I, I, I don't know who chews gum. Like, I don't know. But anyways, she does this. And then we all know the beautiful, the beautiful Janelle. 
that I had a chance to meet, the one with the blue van. When she blew up, girl, everybody thought they could just do van life because this girl blew up off van life. Do you understand me? The beautiful Janelle, she's so sweet and innocent. <laughs> uh, she copies everything but a bath. Oh, yeah, we'll never see her take a bath, spray the... <laughs> We gonna see her change clothes every day. We gonna see her comb her hair. Well, skip the hair. We're not gonna see those things that she does. Okay, no. And what Deborah had showed her on that one uh, video, and she was using a napkin. She did this. I was like, oh hell no. <laughs> when did she get etiquette? When did she get the etiquette? Where did this etiquette come from? Because I have never. Excuse me. Um, let me clear, clear my palette. I have never ever seen that. <laughs> I had laughed so hard. I was like, oh, this, this woman really can is like a chameleon. She like, you know how the chameleon turn into whatever. She 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 wants to turn into all these different things. <laughs> She wants to turn into proper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, she could never. <laughs> oh. She got, she, yeah, she want to have sister locks like be love. Like she has no, nothing that, that's different for nobody. Well, besides, <laughs> yeah, she does have. <laughs> Girl, what you talking about? She has a whole lot of shit that's different. Said that girl, she got a whole lot of shit that's different for people. Hell, Ooh, did y'all see that, that that mask that put Eris B put on the thing? Girl, she got the mask all on the <laughs> Oh my god, she got a whole lot of shit that's different now. Okay, she just need to go ahead and focus off that stuff. Oh my God, I have never seen nobody in my life like that. I have never seen nobody that don't like to take baths and showers. I've never seen nobody, you know, as women, now we women, okay? Now we can get a little stench if we don't clean ourselves up. You know, because the way we, you know, you get pissy and, you know, you got to be able to clean yourself every day. But for a woman that goes days and days and days, I know for a fact, I don't care what nobody said, I know between them legs is funky. It's funky. Because you pee all day, you shit, you wipe your ass, and you don't clean for days. I cannot. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. And a woman that don't take care of themselves and got poor hygiene, what, what, no, no man want that. That's why she said, I don't want a man. Yeah, because a man don't want you. That, you can't possibly want a man. They don't want you. Girl, go clean yourself up and go improve yourself. How about you be a, a, a van lifer? Like, yeah, itchy bottom, yes, yes, circus. You get all kind of rashes and yeast and all kind of stuff. Girl, fix yourself up. Get, woo, get a hold. Go to the doctor. Can we one time see you go to the doctor? Go get your eyes checked. Can we see that? Can you, like, I, 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 I vlogs about, oh, I'm going to the dentist. Oh, today's my mammogram appointment. I mean, I came over here and shared a lot of little stuff so women can know to take care of themselves. Mm -mm. Bleeding all on the state park. That's disgusting. You had the nerve to show it. And when, when uh, was it Aries B? I, I forgot who showed it, but when she turned the camera, she was like, ew, like, why would you show that, girl? You is disgusting. <laughs> I couldn't even show it. I was like, oh my God, y'all, I just made a mistake on a bench. Hold on. I just propped my camera up, and y'all probably seen me clean it, but why would I show that? Like, she does stuff for clicks and blows. She really want to, she really, the thing is, y'all call her out. <laughs> but she really want to be this. Like, she really wants to be like that. But y'all just call it out. And then she feels bad because y'all make videos about it. But, girl, this is how you want to be. Like, 
You want to be like this. You want the people feel sorry for you. Like... Yeah, she just wakes up, go online, and oh, people talking about me. They get what she said. It gang stock. I ain't never heard of that word before. <laughs> the gang's about three. Uh, how many of them? The gang stalk me. <laughs> okay, y'all, y'all go. Y'all have to go and look at their videos because I can't remember every damn thing. Hey, Tashana, how you doing? Girl, I seen you put up some um, snow. Y'all better be careful wherever y'all at. Them roads be treacherous in that snow. It could be black ice, all kind of stuff. Y'all be careful. Her picture of Hall of Fame is under a hot mess club. Okay, Just Jeff. Girl, in a, in a, way, in a way, I feel sorry for her, but in a way, I don't. Because, girl, that woman turned against me for no damn reason and put my information. I'm going to feel sorry for her. In a way, I kind of feel sorry because she's meant, she's really something is wrong with her. And then in a way, I don't feel sorry for you. And then she's going to sit up there and talk about, oh, they put my um, location. You put your own location out there. Everybody see where you at and you announce where you at all the time. And then she told us, like, shit, damn, who's endangering your life? What about when you put my address on there? Didn't you think that was endangering my life? Or you didn't think about my life? You only could think about yours. It was okay for you to put my address and talk about me like a dog. But then you get mad, somebody come on here and talk about you. Calling, calling things out that you are already showing. They're just doing commentary on all the, the silliness and goofiness that you're doing. But you was on here talking about me. It don't matter what you got your body done. You know people got their body done for attention, for OnlyFans. What you worried about it for? What you worried about OnlyFans for? Hmm? What you worried about how somebody make their money? Why are you so concerned about somebody's body? Why? I, I, I'm not concerned about your body. I'm trying to make somebody look bad. Even though she, she, she's not making me look bad. But in her mind, she people that don't really got nothing to say about somebody... They try so hard thinking that that hurts that person. That don't hurt me. <laughs> that do not hurt about you talking about how long my hair is, how my body is look, my big old butt and my tiny, tiny waist, which I don't really think is tiny, but I'm trying to get it small. But like, I don't, that don't, that don't hurt me. But she always try to say, those things are not going to get you into heaven. Manipulation, because God, people use God to manipulate. I was in a relationship where a man used to always bring up God when the shit hit the fan, when he trying to do some controlling. They bring up God. It's, it, they're, they're, that's part of narcissist. Okay? I was in a relationship just like that. And they bring up God, and they try to make you feel sad and bad because they use the word God. But you ain't going to make me feel bad. I know the God I serve. In the Bible, he says that he, he wants us to live abundantly. You're supposed to take care of yourself. You're supposed to look good. You're not supposed to let yourself go. Why would he want that for any of his people? His children. Why would he want that? <laughs> we know who she served. It's crazy. Anyways, I'm going to have to get off here because I cannot sit up here and talk about somebody this damn long. <laughs> it's, it's, it's stressful. It is really stressful. And it's sad. The truth be told, it is sad. But today I wanted to come on here because I really want y'all to go check out Eris B. Um, channel and look at the things that I've learned today. Like, I, I didn't even know. I learned so much. I had no idea what type of person she was. What she did to me, um, 
So last year, um, everybody knows she, she went, she, she, I met her. I met her in Arizona. She stayed for a couple weeks and then she went back to Texas. We stayed in communications and stuff like that. So when she came back, we hooked up. We didn't even hook up. Okay, she came back. I don't know what happened. She stayed over in my parking lot. She the next morning she was dropping off a bag of good a bag of Goodwill clothes that she bought for me to do for a video. So she dropped it off at my door and she took off. When she took off and head to courtside, she was talking about me. I Miss Catherine, why she was talking about me, I don't know. People was, I was going live, people was coming into my live and was telling me that she was talking about me. And then she tried to make it seem like she wasn't talking about me. How many people do you know got their body done? How many people you know drive a nice car? How many people, because I never heard you discuss none of this before I met you. I never heard you talk about these things on your channel before. Not till you met me. Great live, Justine. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Angel Eyes, and I hope you feel better. I'm going to check out that movie. Thank you. Love you. Be, be safe. Take care of yourself, girl. Take care of yourself. Yeah, like I've never done anything to her. So for her to sit up there and say she got something to say that made her. Okay, I want to hear this. I want to hear this. She said she's, what y'all said? She said she see my true colors. True colors? Okay, right, because I ain't been nothing, but what you bet me is how I've always been all my life. There's no true colors. I don't come out here perpetrating to be something I'm not. People see my struggles. People see what I've been through. People see me down. They see me up. Like, I, I don't perpetrate. I don't got to lie. I'm here tripping in the after this. Okay. Thank you, beautiful cover. Yes, girl. Recover. Hey, Jazzy Poo. Welcome. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. We let like an hour and a half. I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. I would like to get to 400 likes. <laughs> but thank you guys for all the support. Hey, little mommy. Good night. Hey, Maribel. Just got here. Yes or no? Is she on OnlyFans? I don't know about where she on. If she on OnlyFans, how can she talk about somebody else OnlyFans if she on OnlyFans? Or, you know, she copycat, so maybe she want to do what everybody else do, right? Hey, Slim. We love you. Love you too, girl. All right, Lady T. Good night, guys. I love you all so much. Don't forget to check out Eris B video, her live today. If y'all want to hear what this woman had put other people through, oh, it's shocking. This has been years, years of what she's doing now. She's been doing it for years, baby. She her only fan. <laughs> yeah, she's her only fan. You're right. <laughs> yes, that is correct. She is her only fan. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I love y'all. Don't forget to like the lies. We need five more likes. Five more likes. Can I get five more likes before I click off here? We almost at 400. We five away for 400 likes. Can we please get it before I get up? I'm headed to her channel now. Yes, Nikki, go check it out. Nikki, you already know, girl. Go check it out. I know she had it in her. Okay, BP? Okay? Justin, good night. Good night, Val. 400! I thank you guys. I love you all. Thank you for the supports. J Riders, we on our way to 60K. See y'all. Have a blessed night. And I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video. Bye.